Everything's been moving slowly So we already in too deep Can't get no sleep On each other heavy Teasing all day And when the sun sets You asking me to come through Kick it with you Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm in the studio with Chris. Chris, how are you? <laughs> I promise this time you get your pictures, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying it here so that there is, um, what do you call that? Like there are witnesses. So please, guys, she says I don't give her her images when we shoot. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying it here on record, please, you will receive your photos. <laughs> So, there's something that we're going to do that I feel is really going to help you guys. Um, I recently got a Pro Mist filter and I've been using it for you know my images. I really like the look. But um, the thing about Pro Mist filters is that once you put them on your lens and you're capturing the image, you get that effect you know baked in essentially. And in case you want to go back or revert or something, you're not able to do it. So what we'll do is we'll shoot some with uh, the promise filter and we'll shoot some without. All right, so moving on for the lighting setup This is a very simple one light image that we are about to create and we are all about the drama. It's actually two lights <laughs> Okay, so it's a two light setup. All right, she was covering the second light. I, I really clearly I don't know what's going on <laughs> In my own studio. So the first one is my Godox AD 600BM or the Flashpoints Explore 600. They are both the same. And we have my deep focus on there and we put some gels inside. We've stretched the fabric. So unfortunately I can't show it because we're taping it over here. So you guys will not be able to see inside. But in there we've put some gels because we want the light that's going to come out of that to be a warm tone. And with this second light, I just put this uh, reflector that comes with a light on it so that we have a bit of a glow in the background. So um, Chris, please let me do a demo for them to see in terms of like the light positioning and stuff. And it's also intentional the way we place this so that, you know, in frame we can see, you know, this entire area because it's also going to help with the effect that we're going for. And for styling, um, you know, Chris is a very stylish person. <laughs> So we're using her fair codes and we added, you know, the cigarette. I, mean, I think there are two of them, right? There's one over there and then she's holding one. And we're just going to have fun and see what we're able to create. I have a feeling it's going to be really, really dope. I'm not the type of guy that, you know, shoots moody portraits, but, you know, we have our inspiration sitting over there. <laughs> Yeah, he likes to create moody portraits and so that's like the whole inspiration for what we are doing today. I think that pretty much covers everything. I think we can start, you know, doing a demo for you guys to see what's happening and then we can start capturing the images. All right, so now I'm adding the Promise filter, adding back my hood. Okay, so let's, do, yeah, perfect. Nice. Let's, all right, so guys, what I want to do first of all is make sure that, you know, the ambient light is not affecting my shot. I'm at 1 over 100, f7.1 and ISO 50. I'll take a quick test shot. We can see that it is pitch black. So what I'll do now is start with the backlight and I believe that one is in group B. So I'm gonna turn that on, take a shot. So all we have is that nice glow in the back. I'm going to turn that off and turn on the main light, which is the one that we see. And another shot. Now this is the shot of just the, you know, the main light. And so when I turn the second light on as well, now this is what we get as a combination. So I think just step back a little bit. Yeah, right there. Awesome. So this is what the two lights give us. So now it's just like with me working with Chris to get the shot that we're looking for. I think your chin is going too high. Your chin. No, go closer to the light. Yeah. Okay, so let's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again. Ooh, okay. Let's do a few more. Mm -hmm. Let's look into the camera. 
top of it. Good. Yes. One more. One last shot. And bring your chin down a little bit. Let's go. Good. Yes. I'll see the difference, eh? Yeah. So I want to jump onto my screen real quick and show you guys the images that we captured. But before I do that, I realized I didn't show you how the filter looks like. So this is the Tiffin Promise filter. This is the one that I have. They come in different filter sizes and also different grades. This is a 77 millimeter because I got it from my Sigma 51.4. You can get it in, in different filter sizes, like I said, for your lenses. So I feel like either you can get the biggest size and then be adapting to your various lenses. But I knew that if I'm going to be using this filter, I primarily just want it to be on my 50 and that is why I stuck with a 77 but by all means uh, get whatever size you feel is going to work for you and then the pro mist also comes in different strengths what I have is one quarter if I just go onto their website and check real quick I can see that they have one eighth one quarter one half um, full stop if I can call it or a full grade and then they have two three four up to five but obviously the higher the number it means the more visible this effect is going to be in your shot and i just wanted a hint of it i didn't want it to be like a predominant thing i didn't want it to be a very obvious thing i just wanted you know a little bit of bloom in my highlights as i'll show you in the images when we're going through them and i also wanted the transitions between the highlights and midtones and shadows to just graze smoothly so that's what the promise does it just it just has a certain smooth view that it adds to your images especially if there are any lights that are visible uh in your shots and so um if you also go on to the images that i've opened inside capture one uh this is a shot that i took without a filter and you can see that it it has its own look. I mean, this is a great image, to be honest. You don't really need to add a promise filter, but I just felt like it was going to add a bit more of an aesthetic appeal to the shots, right? Then again, I also knew when I was capturing these images that I wanted to add a bit of green to them because it's going to take away that digital feel and uh, just make the image look a little bit more organic or grungy, you know? So I was really going to push up uh, the film grain. So in Capture One, what I will do is just choose Silver Rich. Um, that's one of my favorite film grains. Uh, if you don't have my actions, my actions also have, um, you know, grains in them that I intentionally created. And so you can check out my digital store for my workflow actions. It's inside. You can run that inside Photoshop, but I just wanted to have an idea of how the grains will look on the images. So I'm just applying the Silver Rich here in Capture One just so I see, you know, how it's going to affect the shot and so that you guys can see it as well. If you want to see an editing video, let me know in the comments down below and I will get to work on that. Uh, but yeah, this is an image without a filter. If I just select the one directly underneath, or actually let me just select this one, for example, you can see that this, the highlights that is, you can see that warm glue around the main lights that we intentionally place like this in the frame. You can see over here, and this is the reason why we actually taped down the fabric onto the cone because it was sagging initially and then now that also affected the shot but I knew I wanted to get a crisp edge around the image and I wanted it to glow a little bit so that is why we taped it and you can see that we have this great definition in there but then the highlights are glowing if I zoom into his skin you can see that even though the textures are visible actually let me take out the green inside this one and there's no good on that. You can see that the image on the left is the one that doesn't have the filter. And you can see how specular the highlights are. But then if you look at the image on the right, you can see that everything is just glowing. You know, the edges are not as defined as the one that doesn't have um, the filter. So these are some of the uh, differences. If you look at the smoke, for example, you can see that it's almost defined, but the one that's coming out of a mouth that has the promised on is just smooth. It's just looking 
more cinematic if I can say that. So that's one effect of having a pro mist on your lens. It just gives your images a very cinematic feel. Another interesting thing that's going on is the color play. So we knew that we were warming up our skin and we wanted to complement the image. So again, if you want to create interesting images, it's not just about the way you're capturing it, but certain things that you pay attention to, certain things that's going to draw attention to where you want your viewers to look. And we're playing with color, creating a lot of color contrast in the image. We're also creating a very moody image and that has a very contrast feel to it. If you look at the light source, it's bright white and then it's falling into like a deep dark shadow. So there's also contrast of light going on. And then in the background, we have this glow that gradates gradually into darker tones in the backdrop. So you're playing with a lot of contrast of light and then contrast of color in there. And then we are also adding texture. So you can see the texture in here, here, the texture that's created by the smoke and then the texture of the fair. So all those elements and you know, like the angle that you're playing with, like all of these things just come together pretty nicely to create a very stunning and compelling image. So next time, if you're going to be capturing images, pay attention to your color, pay attention to your contrast of light, and then your framing. And then I'm sure you will be able to create compelling images. So let me know how you feel about these images that I created with uh, the promise filter versus the non promise version. Um, let me know in the comments down below. And I, like I said, if you want to see me doing an edit, a full edit, let me know in the comments down below as well. All right. I feel that's it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, don't ever give up.